So anywhere in here is good with a climber. So the wind is blowing like this? Yep. So if Cody goes in there or whoever goes in there, you think you come in here or where you got to come in from? Where's the deer come? They gonna come out the of here? The deer coming out of here. We also have another stand sitting right there on that same road. Are you going to stand right here? I'll take him here. You bring, you bring Chris to the river. And, uh, he loves it all. He don't know which spot to pick. Well, let him come in and walk down to here. Well, that's what I was thinking. Me and you will come through here and come up here. Yep. By winds that he going to put in and at Vicksburg and come down. I'll the go river. to that stand right there. He's walking in then he's going to remember the way he is. Y'all smell that river? Smell the river. It's got a different smell, don't it? It's like home, baby. So enough. So this is where you grew up. Pretty much. About to be hunting where I grew up. Close to it. Where I learned how where I wasn't supposed to be hunting and where I was supposed to be hunting. <laughs> All the same. <laughs> yeah, you know you know Chris worked for worked at Terra. How many years you worked there? about six years you know why they hired him don't you cody they couldn't catch him no <laughs> no they, they hired chris so him and all his family would quit coming over there as much look, just because <laughs> you know as i said as much we never did look man it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad was it <laughs> i mean we you know we, we was hungry i know you had to eat y'all eat every one of them y'all killed didn't heck yeah yep yep didn't matter how, what it was oh no, tear it out some of the best memories of deer hunting I ever had, and we're gonna be right beside it. Yep. It's, I love it. I wouldn't change it for nothing. I hope, I hope we see Bobby on top of the levee today. Yeah, I'm gonna wave. Hey, Bobby. You might hear <laughs> something uh, at about, about 4.30. <laughs> oh, Bobby been there a while too, yeah. man. So, we are on what they call Hancock's. Yep. You can buy it, Chris. It is for sale. For I, I thought about writing him a check. I told Heather I, I trade reload for it. I mean, I'd hate to do it, but I probably You think reload could bring this kind of cash? I said he's worth five million, but I take four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but, so yeah. they called us and somehow we were uh, blessed enough. They, they gonna turn us loose, try to get some good video so we can show how good this place is. But from everything that I've heard, and I don't have the history that Chris and Keith does around here, but. It is a special, special place. It well, is. you're about to get a big dose of the history in this evening where you yeah. sit. The only the thing room. is, if it's rain, stop. It's, not. It ain't hard enough. But it ain't hard, so. It's cold. Look, this is what you're going to see today. Before you see, he's going to, that little mist going to come off of him. They going to, Here he comes. They come. You scared to grunt at one over here? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't going to need to, though, really. Nah, not this evening. I mean, I think all you're going to need is click the safety off. Hey, we ain't bow hunting. We ain't trying to get them 30 yards. We just need them 200 yards or less. Yeah, so this year at the testing grounds, we went to bow hunting only. So it's been off and on hunting it all year. And uh, the elites, it's been a little bit slower than it was last year with the CVAs, <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's going to feel good. Of course, gun hunting, we love to bow hunt, but gun hunting's in our roots. Grew up hunting like that. I'm about ready to click the safety. Oh, I can look, tell you. As soon as Joey D ready, we out. <laughs> You got I'm waiting on him. Well, we finally got in his stand. It's kind of steamy in here. We both are hot. Even though we walked in in the snow a little bit, it quit snowing now, but it did snow on us. Right now, you just got to be out here. These bugs are pushing does, and does are coming in as there's a rut running late because the last two weeks it's been 80 degrees every day. And it's just the rut's been trickling along. It's mostly at night, and, but should be good. But this is Hancock's place, and they invited us to come over, shoot some deer. They actually got this place for sale. So anybody looking for a great piece of property that's very diverse, you got land on the dry side of the levee and the river side of the levee. 
it, this is and a fine lodge on it. This is the place. It is it is set up right. Got a bunch of big food plots, box stands on all the food plots. It, this is this is good as it gets along the Mississippi River. About to come to the field, looks like. Coming right at us, dude. What you call Pete Wright? He's, he's breathing it right now. What are they doing it now? Mm -hmm. <coughs> you heard that? That is a no doubt definite first day shooter. 300 yards straight back behind us. We still got deer all out in the field in front of us, but good sign. Just started spitting snow and sleet again. And a no doubt Mississippi Hancock stud just left the food pot, but we got close right out the gate. It's only 3.30 right now, so we still got a lot of daylight left. But I guess we'll spin back around rigs and face back the way we were, and I'll keep watching it. Yerlin keeps acting funny. Looks like he's looking at something back over this way, on it. I don't see nothing. It's some. It's got to be something in these woods over here. I can't see nothing. Yerlin's gonna walk right up here to us almost. Yeah. I'm gonna keep up right here. Where? Oh, he's right there. I ain't in the business of passing deer up with that shooter. It's been too hard of a year for small town to pass up one of them. That is a, that is a that is a giant seven point. Just a big old mature Mississippi River bottom deer. We got a lot of wind blowing and got some more rain coming in. I don't think we heard a thing. We ain't got a trailing none, which is always a good thing. But, uh, you know, my morals only go so far. They it's a, it's a big deer in there, a big 10 point. That's a deer we in here hunting, but uh, I just, I, 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 my roots come out of me sometimes. You gotta, you gotta shoot them big cold deer like that. I mean, that is the perfect, perfect management deer. I mean, he's, he's real big, <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Well, that is a wrap on afternoon number one. It looks like a pretty good bob. <laughs> He's 
heavy. He's just going around the edge of the plot too far. 285, you can't even see him that good, can you? Right here, close. Shooter, no doubt. That's the wide one from earlier. Right here. Can you see him? You got some vines? I'll let him keep coming as long as he's calm. That's for sure him. Just tell me when I'm rock solid. Just let him keep. That other buck's chasing does. Are you good, Rich? Here we go. reason I told you I was gonna push it if you were good that other buck was chasing all the does out the right corner and that's what he was looking at he was fixing to strike out holy cow dude that's a stud I mean a Mississippi River bottom stud big wide eight point like I say I just I, I don't know I just saw him he went behind these vines like I said, I ran it into the opposite shoulder. I mean, he was down in the front end. Whew. Oh, CVA short barrel, baby. Has barked on the river bottom. Honey, you ain't gonna bleed a mass on this deer. Look at here. Golly. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was, and he wasn't but 60 yards. I mean, that is just a stud. Look at that thing. Oh, broke ear. He been fighting. I mean, that ear's been broke for a long time. Look at the way it's just turned out. Can't pull it up. Good gracious. Thank the good Lord for this. We needed it this year. I don't know how long that beam is. And this one, it kind of turns, goes out, and then tips in. But, I mean, I'm glad he fell in the food plot where we ain't got to drag him, I can tell you that. This song got as long as a 1970 Cadillac. I know, he's beautiful. He is a giant buck. He's just a seven point, but he's big, he's mature, he's old, but he is a big seven point. God, this place is unreal. I mean, it's the first afternoon. It's the first cold weather we've had in probably a month to, to speak of anyway. It's got these big dudes up on their feet. Well, maybe Chris and Cody will get one this evening. We got a long walk out of here. We're gonna have to come ease on out and then come back and get him. Buck down in the field. Buck down, baby. Oh, good job, Rex. Oh, I see his big beam sticking up right there. I mean, a Mississippi river bottom stud, baby. Oh, dude, first afternoon. Mr. Shelter, he's like, man, I just try to get that blind somewhere where you can still see back this way, but be able to see the back side. That's all we talked about all afternoon, is we're gonna have to move where all these deer are closer. And, I mean, the sucker comes right here. 
and it's dead right there. <laughs> that is a Mississippi River bottom stud. That's the widest deer I think I've ever shot. Put over, unload this. Unbelievable, man. First afternoon, and we have struck on a tank <laughs> of a Mississippi River bottom buck. Oh my gosh. They just, they don't make seven or eight points any prettier. Just a big bodied. I mean, that was the first thing I seen. When I seen his body come out, I was like, that's mature. And I looked and then I thought it was the eight we've been seeing all afternoon. And uh, Rigsby's like, I think that's the wide one. And no doubt that is the wide eight from earlier that we didn't get a shot at. And I guess he lost his doe in there or something and come walking right out of here. It does not get any better. In the home state of Mississippi, over here hunting with Roger Hancock. And I'm gonna tell you, this is my first afternoon here. And uh, Mississippi River special. Chris has always said it, he grew up hunting the river and uh, grew up in Eagle Lake. And that's all, I mean, the, the roots of his hunting was cut all around here. And that's what he kept saying when we had the opportunity to come hunt here. He said, man, I'm telling you, this is one of the most special pieces of property. And I have to agree. It's unbelievable. Somebody is gonna have an opportunity to own a piece of dirt like this and have giants running around everywhere. That is an absolute tank. The first one with the all new 6.5 CVA SB short barrel. And uh, everybody talks about high dollar optics and all that. I'm gonna tell you, the short barrel with this little full field four, it's a four to 16, $499 scope and a CVA, I'm in love with it. And it did exactly what I thought. Gosh, dude, I'm speechless. What a giant. I mean, I knew we were gonna see some big deer, but I mean, that deer's, how wide is he, 22? 22 inches wide, probably? Just an absolute tank. Watch out of the Coco, can he go to the river without firing on I thought he was a little wider and better than I thought. Oh, he's pretty wide. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dang good one. Stud, son. That is a good one, Cody. Yep. That's a good one. <laughs> I shot him for an eight, but he a slick seven. <laughs> he's a slick seven. That sucker's wide, ain't he? Oh, yeah. He's yeah. a fine. He's a good one. That's, cool. that's a cool river button. Yeah. yeah I that knew. is a typical that's, Mississippi that's river That's the one bottom. we saw early. Really? And then I saw a heavy eight point come out, started calling to him. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I was like, Riggs, right here, shooter. And he come out, I was like, I think that's one we've been seeing. He said, I think that's a wide one. He picked his head up. I was like, yep, get on him. Click safety off. So where's where's the big one? Because I know you ain't shot a seven point. We no, already got to go see a seven point. You ain't got a seven point. I got a seven point. You shot a seven point. I shot a seven point. A, a real seven point. A seven point. That well, we got to unload him because he ain't going to fit in there with that one. No, he stood at seven point. I shot him 60 yard, broad side. I mean, I had to think about it. I was like, man, it's a he seven really point. Did. But that sucker looked at me. I told Hunter, I said, we are not in the business of passing mature deer. I was, <laughs> I said, you on him? Yep. <laughs> Boom. Smoke come out of his nose. <laughs> y'all didn't get the video? I sent y'all the video. Uh, no, we ain't had good service. Uh, ain't we ain't had no let service. Let me show y'all a little something, something in. My boy Hunter over here. Let's see if I can get this thing to play here. Oh, that's pretty, ain't it? I mean, he, 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 oh my God. Yeah. I, that's what I'm talking about. I told you, I killed a Oh, yeah, that's a stud. I, I was making sure Hunter was on him good. How can he not be? Y'all on a fairway over here. Well, you know. Whole nine. I had to look and scan the field first to make sure there wasn't nothing else coming out. 
I mean, we're getting footage of it. Oh, you crushed it. Yeah, that's a stone. <laughs> I told stone. you, seven point. I ain't gonna lie about it. Hey, he ain't no slouch. Over no, there. yours is wide. wide. Yours is a little bit wider. Yeah. Cool buck, man. He is. Dude, look at that bladed on that side. That That's a, a freaking cool warrior. warrior. That is a cool buck. Look at that ear all broke off. Dang, that that's a cool book. I like it. That's right. Look how long that beam is, Chris. Yep. How long is that beam? I long. mean, for a seven point. That's a pretty, pretty mm -hmm. book, dude. Look at the way he carries that mass all the way out. Yep. And he had, this point broke off. He had another one. That's the thing about the river, man. It's just just gnarly, folks. Yeah. When you get one of them big old ones like that and they got that mass on them. I mean, this deer and my deer couldn't be any different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but they're going to score within yeah. four inches of each other. Yep. Dude, that's heavy that's a good start. Oh, good first day. Yeah. That's about as, <laughs> I say it's about as good as it gets. That's, a, that's the best first day we've had in a long time. That's a fine, yeah. pretty book. Right there. Yeah. That's a good book, boy. Fellas, yeah. that's a, uh, no better way to start yeah, 22. Yeah, for sure. Hey, good job. Kid. Yeah, good job good with y'all. Cody. Cody. Chris, you, you got web feet and you're the only one they fired. I figured you'd been the first one to I fire. I seen one about, about, look about like it. He just ain't as good a hunter when I he goes to the game. I didn't fire <laughs> down. I thought sure. Well, yours is broke up, though, you see. That's a pretty book. Yeah, big old Roman nose, mm -hmm. just old. If you don't, if you don't shoot one tomorrow, we'll go get you a boat. You might have to come in off the river. Something wrong if I don't get one by tomorrow night. Hunt information brought to you by SCI, first for hunters.